Oh, hello my friends. I just thought I would do a quick little video. Frank, my truck, I know it's kind of corny, but anyway, we call him Frank because I bought him from Frank. Uh, is 24 years old and I've had him for 21 years. Uh, I, I just took him to the car wash a day or two ago and he hasn't been anywhere since. So he's looking pretty good. I just did the, uh, I detailed the inside as much as I could on the, uh, geez, back there underneath the second floor mat, I had spilt a cup of coffee. And I bet you that must have been a year or two ago. <laughs> so anyway, here's my old truck, Frank. Those are my ramps. And then just bungee cords and stuff to tie stuff down, right? We're going to stay away from the dark side of the garage because you poor guys have had to put up with the last two videos of Frank being in the dark. So anyway, there's the engine bay on Frank. It's always the same, right? I wash the engine every time I wash the car. So there's a couple of things on Frank this year. Uh, number one, he's used a half a, a, half a quart of oil in the last oil change 3500 miles ago it's been 5000 kilometers and i still haven't i still have not replaced the uh, visor yet eh? you see that piece of tape right there but besides that he's doing good i cleaned the battery posts on him because it wasn't charging at full voltage with everything running headlights tail lights brights wipers you know and they should run 100 amps. And I do have a 100 amp tester I can use on that too. But anyway, we never talk about Mrs. P's car. And this is a 2010, so it's 11. So it's actually almost deserves a little bit of attention now, doesn't it? And it's clean too. It's 11 years old, 11 and a half years old. And I do the same thing with her engine, but not as often as I do with mine. And you'll see here that it's nice and clean. Second battery, that was a year and a year ago, so the first battery lasted 10 years. And you know, on this one, she doesn't turn her headlights off ever. She leaves the switch on, and the car is smart enough to turn off the headlights, and uh, it doesn't seem to hurt the battery at all. Isn't that cool, eh? So uh, I'll just put you down. And we're going to close her hood. So there, that's a 2010 Kia Soul. It's got a 1.6 liter engine in it. But with the variable valve timing on it, uh, it is good on the highway. And it's when we first bought it, we were disappointed with the fuel economy. But after about a year and a half, because we don't drive a zillion miles, uh, the fuel economy is excellent on it. I couldn't tell you exactly how many miles per gallon, but of course it's better on the highway than, uh, than it is in town. But this is our grocery getter. It's got a few, uh, you know, shopping cart dings and stuff like that. But you can tell I like uh, either a light gray or a pewter color on my vehicles, eh? <laughs> Same color as dirt. So there's Mrs. P's Kia. And Mr. P's old 24 year old Silverado. But next year, Frank is going to be an antique. So that's kind of fun. So thanks for watching this short little video with me, my friends. We'll back up and maybe get Frank into the hole. I'm holding the camera. Hopefully I'm not shaking too much and making you ill. But there we go. Numero uno. And there's the other one. And the garage is 26 feet wide, not 24. So there's room to open the doors. Huh? So thanks for watching this one with me.